Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters, the um, <clears throat> uh, a topic or the theme of uh, our gospel is uh, the end of the world. Maalala ko po yung uh, isang uh, lector at uh, first time niyang magbasa uh, ng readings at um, uh, siyempre po ay uh, nanginginig siya um, dahil first time at uh, napakaraming uh, uh, nagsisimba kaya hirap na hirap siya na um, <clears throat> Uh, bumasa doon sa uh, reading dahil nga siya ay uh, first time na magbasa uh, kaya nung malapit na po siya sa <clears throat> sa end of uh, the reading sabi niya now brothers and sisters sabi niya this this is the end of the world ay um, sa dapat sabihin niya this is the end of the world no and then sabi naman ng mga uh, tao sa simbahan thanks be to god <laughs> so at least uh, yung paghihirap niya sa pagbabasa uh, well dear brothers and sisters uh, well hindi po ito yung uh, lektora na katulad niya no <laughs> um, but anyway Uh, the gospel today is telling us about the destruction of Jerusalem na magugunaw ang uh, ng syudad ng Jerusalem and uh, our Lord predicted this and why? Because the people during that time did not uh, recognize Christ and uh, uh, they did not recognize when our Lord came into their city, into their country. Now, um, as we end the liturgy of the Catholic Church, at uh, tayo po ay uh, uh, magtatapos na yung calendar ng ating simbahan, at uh, hindi lamang yan po, ay ngayong darating na linggo ay kapistahan ng Kristong Hari. At um, itong kapistahan ng Kristong Hari, uh, dadating ang ating Panginoon para hindi lamang uh, it comes for second time, but also that He will judge us. It will be the judgment day for each and every one of us. So, um, um, you know, there are some people who come to me and they say, Father, hindi kaya magtatapos na ang mundo. Hindi kaya magugunaw na ang mundo. Bakit mo sinabi yan, tinanong ko? Eh kasi, Father, uh, marami ng mga uh, naisulat sa ating Biblia that there will be uh, uh, earthquakes there will be um, uh, epidemics pestilence katulad nung nangyayari yung COVID-19 uh, 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 coronavirus and then others say tignan ninyo Father may global warming at uh, mukhang Uh, napaka bangis ang mga bagyo mga pagbaha so uh, uh, hindi kaya mag uh, end of the world na father well in answer I said well it's not uh, really true the truth is we do not know when the end of the world will come 
Kasi sabi ng ating Panginoon, hindi alam ng mga anghel na nasa langit and uh, the Son of Man, He was referring to Himself, doesn't know either. Only God the Father knows when the end of the world will come. So, let us not be uh, always uh, worried about the end of the world. Dahil uh, ang end of the world will happen when, well, when we, when we die. Pag tayo ay namatay. At uh, uh, <coughs> pagkatapos na tayo ay mamatay, Uhusgahan na tayo ng ating Panginoon doon sa kabilang buhay. But then there is also the general judgment. And that is what our Lord is referring when He will come again, not only as Christ the King, but also as a judge. So uh, what is important is that we should be prepared always prepared always about our about our spiritual life alam niyo po mayroong isang uh, matanda isang lolo at um, um, tinawag yung kanyang mga anak mga apo at uh, sinabi niya uh, ngayon ay uh, uh, nakabili na ako ng memorial plan so mayroon akong puntod at um, uh, mayroong uh, kabaong. And then sabi niya, well, uh, I have also this last will and testament. Well, that is a uh, preparation. But then, uh, that is not enough. Because what he is preparing is something material only. What is important is the preparation of our souls, our spiritual preparation. Now, uh, so how do we prepare for the coming of Christ in our personal life? Well, we ask ourselves, tayo ba ay uh, nagkakasala? Are we living in sin? So we ask ourselves, because sin is against the will of God, against the commandment. So, for example, that um, we break the commandments, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit adultery. So, uh, are we breaking these commands of our Lord? For... Another is, tayo ba ay nagpapatawad sa ating kapwa, sa mga kaaway natin? Sabi ng ating Panginoon, kung hindi ka nagpapatawad sa iyong kaaway, hindi ka rin patatawarin yung ama mong nasa langit. So, uh, nakakatakot yung salita ng ating Panginoon na kung hindi ka pala marunong magpatawad, ay hindi ka rin patatawarin ng Panginoong Diyos, Ama. So, uh, um, if you have an enemy or, or you cannot uh, forgive and maybe not forget even what uh, your enemy has done to you or you have done to him or her, then one preparation is to get reconciled and to ask forgiveness. And it might be difficult, especially for married couples who are separated or who are uh, divorced, they marry another, another partner or another spouse. So that is one that we should remember, that we should not... Uh, we should uh, not live in sin. And the second is that our Lord will be asking us, what good deeds have you done when you were still in this world? 
ano ang nagawa mong kabutihan nung ikaw ay nandito pa sa mundo? And I always mention this because in the parable of the last judgment, our Lord will ask us, what have you done to the least of my brethren? I was hungry, you gave me to eat. I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was sick and in prison, and you visited me. Enter into the kingdom of heaven. So it's very clear, my dear brothers and sisters, that our good deeds are very important in order to be saved on the last day. So, uh, let's pray, you know, that we are always prepared. If we have committed certain sins, then uh, let us ask forgiveness. Even if you have committed the worst and the uh, uh, <coughs> most gri uh, grievous sin, there is always a chance for you to be forgiven by God. So that is very important. At uh, mahirap po mga kapatid na we go through life uh, hating people or are not repentant of what we have done. And finally, what I said a while ago, our Lord wants us to do good while we are still in this world, especially to uh, help those who are poor and the least of Christ's brethren. So let me end with uh, this uh, quotation from a spiritual writer. He said, I shall pass this way but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do or any kindness that I can show, let me do it now. Let me not neglect nor defer it, for I shall not pass this way again. Amen. Let us make